Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into the realm of tax planning strategies for investments. We aim to guide you through various techniques that could help you minimize capital gains taxes. The content in this video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute financial or tax advice. Always consult with a professional before making any financial decisions. Hello everyone! If you've ever found yourself wishing you could keep more of your investment returns and hand over less to the tax man, you're in the right place. Let's begin. 1. Understanding Capital Gains Before diving into the strategies, it's crucial to understand what capital gains are. Simply put, capital gains represent the profit you make when you sell an investment for more than you purchased it for. 2. Long-term versus short-term capital gains Now, not all capital gains are taxed the same. Investments held for a year or less are considered short-term and are typically taxed at your ordinary income tax rate. On the other hand, investments held for more than a year are considered long-term and are often taxed at a lower rate. The lesson here? Patience can pay off. Holding on to investments for over a year might help you tap into those lower tax rates. 3. Tax-Efficient Investing Let's talk about tax-efficient investing. This involves selecting investments that offer tax benefits or are less likely to generate taxable events. Examples include tax-exempt municipal bonds or investments that generate qualified dividends. 4. Tax Loss Harvesting An investor's secret weapon, tax loss harvesting. Tax loss harvesting is the strategy of selling a security that has experienced a loss and then immediately buying a similar one. The idea? To offset taxes on both gains and income. Keep in mind, though, the IRS has rules to prevent investors from abusing this strategy, like the wash sale rule. Always consult with a tax professional. But using retirement accounts. Did you know retirement accounts can be tax havens for investors? Traditional IRAs and 401ks allow your investments to grow tax deferred. This means you won't pay taxes until you withdraw the money. On the other hand, Roth IRAs are funded with post-tax dollars, but all growth and withdrawals are typically tax-free. Strategically contributing to these accounts can be a powerful way to minimize the tax impact on your investments. 6. Gifting and Inheritance If you're looking to share the wealth, gifting or bequeathing assets can also offer tax advantages. By gifting stocks or other assets, you can potentially help your beneficiaries avoid higher capital gains taxes in the future, depending on the asset's cost basis and holding period. Investing is more than just picking the right stocks. It's about making informed decisions, and that includes tax planning. The strategies we discussed today offer potential ways to minimize capital gains taxes. But remember, always consult with a tax professional or financial advisor to determine what's best for your unique situation. If you found value in this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, happy investing and smarter tax planning.